dear Sagittarius, this is a love reading, a prediction for Aries season, March 19 to April 19, 2020, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And um, please <laughs> help me, my channel to grow and stay vigorous and healthy on YouTube by liking and subscribing. Also be sure to put on the bell notification so you don't miss out of any of my videos when I'm posting them. Some of you do not longer get notification for my videos, even if you have uh, chosen to have the bell notification on. And I'm so sorry for that. And I have put up a troubleshoot on my community section on how you can solve this. Uh, and this will be a love reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you need more informational help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for Pisces season that is up, or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click my little Queen of Cups icon there on the side. Uh, I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. So when I open your deck here, I see Nine of Wands, and the chariot in the reverse. So nine of wands is Sagittarius. This is the uh, Sagittarius Cancer energy. So it's in some situation which is not fun anymore. You don't want to tag along on the ride. You have learned your lesson and you say, well, uh, this is my station. This is where I get off. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the four of pentacles in the reverse with the nine of wands. So something that was really precious to you before, uh, now it seems like you're just dropping it because you don't think that it will give you what you once thought it would give you. So uh, it seems like you have to, uh, given up the dream of ever coming to that end station or that, that situation that you have made up in your mind that you wanted to have. So um, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have again, Sagittarius is the knight of wands uh, with the nine of wands in the reverse. So it seems like you're going on your own adventure here. And never mind this, whatever it was that stole all of your energy and you had to, to put up a fight to make it end or to uh, not make it repeat endlessly. And now you are you know, riding on to the sunset here. Uh, so, six elements. And here we have a uh, four of wands with the knight of uh, nine of wands. So this is what you want, a more stable situation. And um, so you might be looking for a new love partner or you might be uh, turning more of your love towards yourself. This is a picture of marriage, but it's also about self-love, like the holy matrimony with yourself, when you are making a great foundation for yourself so you can be ready to find someone. Maybe that's more soothing or fitting. So, six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Sagittarius viewers. So... I want my dear Sagittarius to have love in their life. Uh, five of Wands. I actually saw King of Swords with uh, another um, <laughs> King of Swords with the um, <laughs> King of Wands. Sorry, uh, and here is the conflict. But it's like it seems this is a, not a perfect match. This is not a match made in heaven. This is two equally strong uh, kings that. Uh, are not prepared to cooperate it's uh, if this is a love relationship it more looks like a war and um, with the five of wands in the reverse we don't want to be in that war so it's like bye bye war um, I'm moving on uh, the tower and eight of pentacles so whatever needs to fall let it fall and Focus on what works and what have been working and build on that because that's where your future is at. 
and we have also an eight of wands here with a king of cups so it says that not now but in the future it will come uh, maybe a more cooperative king uh, your way so king can be any gender it just means uh, a person with a certain level of maturity and authority okay so I will just tune in here for a few seconds to you and your situation in um, uh, every season, <laughs> Sagittarius. So. so this is the new bottom of the deck and we have the Magician in reversed. So I feel that before you were kind of trying to co cooperate and create a situation, um, now you're more a destructive <laughs> kind of creator because um, instead of uh, being creative building things you might be creative in tearing things down like with the tower and this is the old bottom of the deck where you were focused on cooperating so it seems like there has been a shift from trying to fix it to not wanting to fix it uh, so uh, this is what's on you, your mind on the person of about the person most of on your mind so and this is the situation itself and this is what's on their mind about you this is your feelings towards them this is the bond that binds you two together or two it might be more people it might be you towards your family or you towards the people at work things like this but this is their uh, their, their, this person or their feelings towards you and this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes towards them uh, the outcome and this is uh, their behaviors and attitudes towards you so we'll start with the situation there and it's a five of pentacles so it's another five we had the five of wands as well so this is showing how we are uh, struggling to uh, cooperate with other humans <laughs> in society and with the five of pentacles it feels like um, this situation or this relationship hasn't been really honoring to the people involved uh, so either we haven't been able to live up to uh, our own expectations or uh, our surrounding has made us feel like we are not worthy or that we are not worthy of love or worthy of uh, good behavior like good treatment uh, so it's um, it's a feeling of uh, being neglected or not being respected and valued and here we have what's on their conscious what's on your conscious mind about them and we have an ace of wands so it's a new beginning so you don't like this old situation where I felt that you didn't feel respected and you didn't feel valued like maybe the other person took you for granted or treated you badly in some way uh, and this is uh, what's on their conscious mind about you and we have a tree of cups in the reverse so it seems like they are still treating you badly and what's <sighs> they might um, what I'm getting here because this is what they are thinking about you and it seems like they are thinking uh, that you are looking for other options but um, what I felt immediately when I took up this card is that they immediately got to this thought because they are self like that and that might be why you have felt so unworthily treated because maybe they treated you just like an option in a crowd of other options or at least they wanted you to believe that it was like that because they wanted some kind of elevated um, place in your relationship so not an equal relationship but a relationship with that's unbalanced to one person's favor uh, so but they are clear with you wanting a new beginning they think that you are now going to get another partner or another friend or another work or uh, not care about your family anymore or whatever is going on uh, and this is the the bond that binds you two together and it's judgment in the reverse so it seems like this is a very teaching moment this relationship is about uh, learning to see the reality and taking necessary decisions based on that reality so for example a battered wife is actually leaving uh, the abusive husband instead of staying and taking more punches uh, or the uh, the guy that works 
uh, on the um, in this workshop with cars that is being bullied uh, is now seeing his own value and deciding that no hell no i'm going to work in this kind of environment this was the last you saw of me uh, goodbye and getting a new job uh, so um what i can see with the common energies between you two why you have being connected was because you had a very poor judgment that led you down this road with this person. So if you would have had better judgment from the get go, you would have understood that this situation wasn't uh, worthy of you. Uh, because you, you probably had a lot of red flags showing you that uh, something was not right with this situation, but you probably stayed because you hoped there would be a, some kind of change. And this is your feelings for them. And we have the star card in the reverse. Uh, so I think you still uh, would want a miracle to happen with this person. So they would magic, magically change and become the person that you dreamt them up to be. But in the same time, I'm feeling there's no bitterness from your side. Um, you're just giving up, on, up hope on them. And, and this is actually very healthy. It's the beginning of your own healing. Um, you still have hopes in a certain degrees, but in the same time, logically, you have given up hope. And that's good for, for change. When we still have hope that this uh, violent guy will stop uh, uh, punching you around and you will uh, stay. And then when we still have hope that the boss at this uh, car automobile workshop will do something about the bullying going on, we might still stay but when we have given up hope we see okay so uh, i've done everything i can the situation isn't changing we move on so this is their feelings uh, towards you and we have the chariot uh, in the reverse so it's what we saw before so they're just watching you you walk away um, and they might want to make it look like they are the one uh, walking away so i'm going to take an oracle card from energy oracles uh, to see what's going on there <laughs> because when it comes again <laughs> blossoming abundance so what i'm feeling here uh, with this is that um i had some, like a similar situation coming up uh, for virgo but the, it was cornucopia instead so I'm feeling that they have great feelings for you, but their pride, this is sometimes a card of pridefulness, uh, is making them not able uh, to run after you and save this blessing that they see to think that you are in their life. Uh, so they don't want to run after you, uh, even though they might feel like you are uh, very important to them and and you are representing blossoming abundance in their life but they are not going to i think they have deliberately made you feel uh, unworthy because they didn't feel like they were worthy of you so they needed to um, fix the unbalance inside themselves by creating an unbalance outside themselves as well uh, so they always wanted you to know that you were their second choice or um, that they like in a blink of an eye could move on to another situation or that you weren't worthy them in some way but I think that it was actually in the other way around that they felt not worthy of you uh, so they wanted to diminish you and make you small so that they could rule you so that's what I'm feeling here and this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes uh, towards them and it's the hangman in the reverse, so basically it's letting go. Uh, so I was stuck with you, and now I'm letting go. And it's a lot of major arcana cards coming here, with the chariot, the judgment day, the star card, and the uh, hangman. So it's showing situations, the situation was going on now. It's very important. The decisions you make now is either freeing you from this old karmic uh, repetitive situation, or it's... Uh, uh, going in for another round <laughs> it doesn't matter if it goes in for another round we will learn even more the next round but it shows that we are on this particular point in time uh, when um, we can really 
um, solve our old karma okay so this is their behaviors and attitudes towards you and remember i told you that there will be a king of cups for you uh, in the future when you love yourself this will reflect in someone on the outside also loving and respecting you and i think this person have loved you all along they just uh, wasn't healthy enough to be able to show you this so uh, maybe your letting go your action of letting go here uh, will make this person miss you and since they can't run after you since they are so prideful um, they will they will just stay behind here and feel all those feelings of uh, love towards you because you are their blossoming abundance uh, and this is a good lesson for this person so don't change your mind you know continue moving on and this person can figure out how they will deal with their next next person that they feel this kind of love to or how they will uh, what they will do to win you back but it's kind of up to them don't mind them you know go out and live your own life is what it seems so an outcome and we have this same this uh, eight of wands they can't tell you uh, they can't tell you how much you mean to them uh, so they have not these words because in some way that would be the most dangerous thing so i'll read this blossoming abundance to you what they want to kind of give you but they can't tell you that they want to give you this but at least you are worthy of knowing um, this card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang little fruits on the tree above. Upright, this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibility in a dramatic and unexpected change to a positive direction. And be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blossoming results that take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to them, the new growth, be grateful and enjoy. Um, so this is all the things this person wants to give you, but obviously they are not giving this to you. So what about you then? What are you supposed to do and what do you have to look forward to? Uh, for chakra archangel Raphael so I'm thinking it's about healing of your heart chakra you have been uh, kind of um, just enduring <laughs> this uh, this situation that was uh, hurtful to your heart and, and uh, now when you are realizing that this is not a good situation it's not healthy I need to move on I need to let go uh, this is time when you start your healing and you decide what you are worth, that you are worth uh, love in every way. So I will uh, read a little bit of this for you as well so you can understand what ha is happening here with you. So love, compassion, self-acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounding by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibration of Raphael reminds you to encourage yourself with a compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Very important. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people in situation that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. So when we don't like it ourselves, we are being like approached with mirrors that can show our own self-loathing and self-hatred or lack of self-respect and when we do a self-respecting action like this and walking away from a situation that was not worthy uh, we are telling the universe that we are now changing and we are sending out a different vibration that will create better meetings and from my point of view it looks like this person will change but the first time i saw this combination of cards uh, i thought that uh, that it was a new person coming in 
So I'm thinking it can be either or, so different for different people. For some of you, this person will get over their pride and tell you how much they really love you and maybe go to therapy or something. But don't focus on that because that was what kept you stuck here with this um, illusionary beliefs that this person could change. And it was not really illusor <laughs> illusionary because it was coming from your soul that remembered what was agreed because this is also like a soul contract that it was agreed that this would happen and that this person would see their the error in their ways and change and become more like give what they actually feel in their heart for you. Uh, but we can't skip steps. So this can't happen magically. Uh, it needs to happen by um, challenges. And right now you are the challenge to this person. So you can't, uh, um, you know, just wish for a miracle you need to behave in a way uh, that cuts the access um, for this person from you uh, so that they can realize what is what was your worth so for you personally and and your love life so let go of control issues so it's this let go you know you can't control this uh, person like even if they are your soulmate you can't control them and if they are behaving badly uh, you you don't need to hang around for another round of disappointments but they are your soulmate and they are feeling uh, great love for you but that's another chapter so that is not something we can harvest right now because this is not what the person is showing they are showing you that they don't care so let them be faced with the consequences of not caring is what I advise you to do in this situation. So if you need more help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to love readings for Pisces season that is up. We are uh, 10 days into Pisces season, like roughly, or no, not 10, seven days into when I'm posting this. Um, you can also check out the pick a card readings and the personal readings that I've done. I will also come with new readings of the same sort. And in the end of March, there will also be a new reading like this, but for tourist season. So until next time, uh, take really good care and bye bye.